Hey, this is Jared Hill with the App Podcast. We're going to take a look at iCab Mobile, which is actually a browser, not a cab finder. So anyhow, I had Amazon.com opened up last year, so as I launched the app, it brought in Amazon.com. Now, you're thinking web browser, Safari, we already have Safari, what do we need another web browser for? Well, this app has a lot more functionality than Safari has. So I'm just gonna show you the settings, first of all here, because that's basically the bread and butter of this app. Um, it has tabbed browsing, kind of like Safari, uh, but you can, tell it how you want your the links that you click on to, to work, and then opening links to other domain names. You can open tabs in background, private browsing, turn on and off display images, enable filters. The filters that you have basically will block anything from all of these, and you can add new filters as well. So if you are tired of ads and all that stuff, you could basically do away with all of them by enabling filters here. You can choose which search engines you want. You can even add search engines to the list. What One of the cool things is, is actually being able to save the data for a form so that you could just submit it and fill it out. If you're always logging in to uh, certain websites and it's a pain in the butt because you've got to type in that information all the time, now you don't have to worry about that because you can save that form data and then when you go to that page, you can just click a button and it fills out all that form data for you already. That's probably the best feature of this app that I have seen. So password protection for saved forms, because of course if you're you know, putting in information like your banking information or something like that, you're not going to want to uh, make that available to you know, anybody who gets into your, uh, into your phone. So then we've got uh, bookmarks, export and import. We can export bookmarks to our Mac by just entering our username and password, and it will sync that over a, uh, a Wi-Fi network. And then we have a help tab also, delete our cookies and delete history. So those are the settings, lots of settings, lots of good stuff in there. Um, I could tap on search and do a search in any of these, uh, any of these websites here, or of course I can um, add more search engines to this list as well. We have our, our full screen view right here, which actually took me a, f a minute to figure out how to get out of full screen. You actually shake to get out of full screen. So that uh, remember that if you go into full screen and can't figure it out. Uh, and then we have multiple tab browsing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new tab and I'm gonna start to type in a website that I've already visited and it remembers some of these websites that I've already visited, like my own website here, jaredhill.com. So that's going to load up. And then I have two items in the, in the tabs, as you can see down here below, a uh, little number two in there. So I can, uh, I can click on that and then see my tabs that I have opened here. If I want to delete one of those tabs, I could just click the little black box checkbox and it will erase those or I can switch to another tab simply by just clicking on uh, on that listing in order there. So then as we're browsing we have a lot of options here that are going to load up. We can add this to bookmark, send a URL by email so if we wanted to send the link to someone else we could set it as our home page, open it in Safari if for some odd reason we needed to open it up in Safari. We can add it to the search engine so if you are viewing a uh, search engine website or maybe you wanted to add amazon.com to your search engine list so that you can search Amazon. Um, you can do that just by clicking add to search engines and then save forms and fill out forms. So the way that that works is you would go to a page that has a form on it, you would fill out that information and then before hitting submit you would hit save forms. Then the next time you came to that web page you would hit fill out forms and it would load that information right into the form and then you can hit submit and you're ready to go. Really cool function. Then of course over here on the left we have our bookmarks uh, which come preloaded with a couple of items in there and then uh, you can separate them by folders and add a new bookmark there. Click edit to edit those folders um, and it all works really well. So. Uh, Turning the phone sideways, you can view uh, anything in landscape mode, just as I'm doing now. And JavaScript is, is okay, it's just as fast as it is on Safari. 
you know, when you're loading something that's a JavaScript call, um, which typically isn't very fast on a phone, but it's not bad in iCab here. So we'll close that. So this overall, this is a great browser. It functions really well, has a lot of features, and I, I think it, it beats Safari hands down. It's just as stable and as fast as Safari, but it has a lot more features. So if you're looking for a web browser for your phone that does just a little bit more, because you know who knows if Firefox will ever come to the iPhone, um, then iCab is definitely what you need because it does all that and more than what Safari would do and hey, it's not very expensive. So definitely check out iCab. It is a new browser for your iPhone, your iPod Touch that will revolutionize the way that you browse the internet on your mobile device. Take care and we'll see you next time on the App Podcast.